for the new model. We again tested both rear and all-wheel drive additions with a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, which is the entire model range at present. The rear driver is one of few in the class where opting out of AWD usually means settling for front drive. Stuttgart intends to fill out this range with diesel, plug-in hybrid, and AMG high-performance editions in later model years, plus a hydrogen fuel cell model and one of those crazy fast back coupe crossovers to face off against the BMW X4. While handsome and stylistically in tune with its sedan and coupe platform mates, the GLC's exterior profile hues more closely to class norms and did that of the distinctively squared off, wagon-esque GLK. It'll blend into the crowd in those shopping center parking lots and carpool drop-off lanes, which might be a good thing for those who don't want to feel ostentatious sliding a benzin amongst the neighbors' Kias and Hondas. Gravitating to the norm The drivetrain too, reflects the current automotive hive mind with yet another 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbo unit, rated at 241 horsepower. This supplants the GLK 350's 3.5-liter V6, which made 302 horsepower. That power peak is fast becoming mundane for a turbo 4 of this size, matched by Kia, Ford, and Chevy among others. This turbo 4 is 200.